what are your thoughts on giant monsters? Like giant monster movies. Movies or like do they exist? Do I believe they exist? Oh, do I well, want I mean, them to exist? This is what? not the conversation I was going to have, but let's let's have this one instead. <laughs> but what do you do do you think giant monsters exist? Do you think the do you think Loch Ness monster is real? I think this shit underneath the surface of that ocean or any not just the loch. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think this stuff under there. They say that we haven't really explored even like a tenth of our oceans, right? right? And there's, they, I forget how many unknown species could be under there. I guess they can't put a number on it because then they'd be <laughs> a known number of unknown species. Yeah, I think there's a lot of shit under there. Freaky stuff. Oh, I bet. I get fearful of floating in the ocean or even a lake of not knowing what's underneath me. Yeah. Huge fear of it. Uh, probability of Bigfoot existing. I think there's something I, I don't, you know what? I don't know. Yeah. I'm a believer in a majority of things. I, sure. I'm a go for it. But the only proof we have is that guy that basically put that suit on and did that slow walk. Mm -hmm. Remember, that was a big famous that was thing. That a huge thing, yeah. Yeah. But, um, so, I mean, that's basically the proof we have besides some the, random the, footprints. The proof we have, which is not proof yeah, at all. Yeah, fake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to open the curtain. Sure. Right, I need this. your help. All right. <sighs> Man. Tie it up. I miss Michelle. Yeah, that's a lot of curtain to move. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll get the lights. Okay. All right. Okay, do you want to make some popcorn? Sure, I'll make the popcorn. Yeah. Can we and put vodka? Can we put vodka on the popcorn? You can oh, put that away. Vodka soggy. soaked popcorn. Mm. This is PlayStation VR Theater. Theater. popcorn. I mean, I'm just thirsty. <laughs> well, you're drinking something that dehydrates you. Exactly. So maybe that's it. All right. This is the Midnight Gamescast. We record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight. Then we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday. It's the weekly wrap-up. That yep. was yesterday, so long ago. So long. Yeah, we talked about PAX quite a bit. Quite a, yeah. Like, well, that's like the longest episode of all time. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. But Michelle's not here, man. We just go off the rails. <laughs> right? We're probably going to run out run out of room on the camera. There might not be a viewer flashing. takeover. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like, sorry, guys. We, yeah. we blew our load too early. <laughs> Uh, every Thursday, every today, as uh, PlayStation VR Theater. Theater, and every Friday, every tomorrow, if you were takeover, when we let you, the loyal game cats, wow. let you take over the show. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, the king of all VR kings, the sofa king himself, it's Jeremy King. Hey. Fascinating. Yeah. You know, you have nothing to say. No. But then I, I, I say one thing, like, what are your thoughts what? on giant monsters? And you're like, here's a 10-minute rant <laughs> about giant monsters. And I was like, all right, cool. I Not, like, monster-related, but I did get a, a hell of a bargain on pants after packs. Pants after packs. It's a new thing. So on the way home, you know, after I got into my car. Sure. I left. I'm like, I'm not fucking... I got shit I needed to get done. Right. So okay. I went to... The Gap, right? Sure. I did some adult things. It's good to know the Gap still exists. Yeah. I haven't been to a Gap in 10 years. And they had, I wanted a couple pair of jeans. So I went and the jeans, I went on the right day. They were on sale. So this pair and another pair, 90 bucks each. 90 bucks. This is why I haven't been to the Gap in 10 years. Both pair, $59 and some change. For 30 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's so like a seventy percent. They had a huge sale going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like I'm, I'm not a stylish guy. I don't. Oh, I don't. Neither. I don't wear uh, expensive clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in fact, like I, I just go to Kohl's and see what the cheapest thing is, and like, yeah. I'm like, oh, those will cut. This right here will cover my body for fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's all I care is that it covers my body. Yeah, right. I'm like, does it make me look good? It doesn't matter. All I'm doing is sitting behind the table with a green screen. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can make myself look however I want to. That is right? very true. I can. Add effects to make my pants look more expensive. I don't even need to wear pants. I'm not wearing pants currently. No. 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 He, he didn't even know. No. Right. <laughs> uh, so every week on PlayStation VR Theater, Theater, we take a look at upcoming PlayStation VR games, usually trailers uh, that we know little to nothing about. Yep. Uh, Michelle is our... Uh, our a reporter, Research. Researcher. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she's not here. So no. uh, interestingly... We do have a piece of her here today. We do. Uh, Jer what piece? <laughs> the, the best part. Yeah. <laughs> I, Jer so I was, I was like, oh, man, it's, it's a little unfortunate. I've been staring at this the entire time. This is, this is my original wristband with no writing on it. Oh, the, the black one? The blank one. Yeah. Yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> I need to put the blank one back on. Uh, so, uh, it's, but you you were talking to Michelle this morning, and yeah. she gave you her notes. She did, which I feel like is cheating because she didn't give me her notes. So I told her, I'm like, I'm gonna surprise Brian and research all these, yeah. which I mild, I was gonna write them down. Yeah, you know, like that kind of shit. Then my morning just, you know, kept going. I added this and that and this, and I was running out of time. Yeah. So, Michelle, I, I'm literally like, oh, my God, I got to research. How am I going to research? And then ding, and I, I look at my phone. It was Michelle. She's like, I figured you were probably stressing out. So, here, I, <laughs> I, I sent her the notes. I'm like, thank you so it's much. Awesome. So, I didn't even read them. Uh, shout out to got Michelle, of course, because she's uh, she's sick. She's got the yeah. Pax Pox, and, uh, and, <clears throat> and hopefully she's not too sick. She might have strep. We have no idea. Yeah. Uh, I luckily recovered, but only because I slept for like 24 hours straight. Uh, man, that was a close call. Wow. Like yeah. I, I'd never had so little energy in like not been diagnosed with something. Been like, oh, you have mono. Like that's how I felt. I felt like I had mono. The last night like, you're like, I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. And yeah, then I'm going to struggle like, through I it. I feel fine. Come yeah, on. I feel way better. Yeah. But again, I slept for like 24 hours straight, yeah, which is why incredible. there's no reviews up on the channel. Uh, so yeah, we're checking out some uh, PlayStation VR trailers today. Um, these games are supposed to come out to the store eventually. Uh, we don't know too much about them. Uh, what is our first trailer today? Radian VR. All these trailers came to us courtesy of our good friend B Tribble, Bobby yeah. T, out there doing God's work. Thank you so much, sir. Yep. Because uh, if we had to find these things myself, and it just it wouldn't happen. This segment would be canceled. Done. If it wasn't for B Something Tribble. Else. No, we absolutely wouldn't. We would just have two shows every week. Yeah. <clears throat> It'd be way better. So no no stress. No pressure, B-Tribble. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. You're only in control of our entire the destiny. The entire middle of our week. On your mark. Get, get set, set. And go. go. Uh, I, I love that their official trailer is... has the rounded corners. Yeah. Like, like, the, like, oh, we just streamed this from our PlayStation yeah, right? 4. Let's just hit record while we play the game. Yeah. So... <laughs> I, I, very. I feel like we're like creating a bathroom or something. We're like, but like these are the tiles. This is the wallpaper. He should flip his hand upside. You know, like a, he's like holding it like this. Yeah, well, maybe he doesn't know how to use controllers. No, I, I can. It all well, makes me wary for the development of the game. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. Again, this. I feel like we're choosing textures and and and, and trying to like connect and move and. Is that what we're doing? So we're but what is he? I don't get it. It shouldn't be that complicated, should it? Right? Oh, whoa. Let's He's get getting it. points by matching colors. He's pulling something out. There are colors. There's many colors. Mm -hmm. He's still got that hand upside down. 40 points. Now he's in a weird environment. What? Do you think the backgrounds have anything to do with this? Or are they just supposed to be there for... I think it's just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is happening. This is making me upset. I'm, I'm, I'm betting that these backgrounds are just like 360 video. Like, it's and not... Just keep changing as you're solving this one puzzle. Maybe, but like, I'm, there's no way that these backgrounds are like actually VR backgrounds. I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that they're just... Like, static. Like yep. that flat... Flat 360 wraparound. Right? So, it's not even like he's trying to make the whole... Nope. ...thing one color. He's, he's bringing... This is stressing me out because I don't know if I can't figure out how to play your game. It's almost like uh, what do they call that game? Bejeweled. Yeah, like a, like except on a sphere and with something with a paint palette. So here he quickly he did something, and now it's a new ball with. How long ball. is this? Okay, oh, good. it's almost over. Yeah, like Ten more seconds of this. I'm He's like, probably explaining everything. You first take this and this, <laughs> and, and we're just like, what the fuck? It's totally possible when we're talking over the entire thing, right? Because he yeah. pulls out that other shit and he's got. And it's over. That was it. Well. Well, that was uh, intriguing. Yeah. You know, and it's okay. Like we like to do. What, what's what's your what's your first impression of that trailer before we even like look at our notes? I'm very confused. Very confused. Um, definitely a puzzle game with weird images just changing in the background. Yeah. I don't know if it has to do with the puzzle solving aspect. It certainly doesn't seem it. No. Nope. Uh, also, it doesn't it doesn't look like something I need to play in VR. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what is the point of that other than like the, the fact that you got two move controllers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. B Triple is saying that this that what we just watched is as close as they have to a trailer, but it's PS4 gameplay at least. Okay. So at least we're seeing something that's, you know, PlayStation VR specific. Yeah. Um, all I, mean, right. I guess it's like a bejeweled type of game, but I don't understand what the palette was all about and switching to something else and then going back. Did that change the, the rings? I, I don't know. Right. It looks like he was trying to match 
colors from each ring to to, to yeah. match from the center outward, yep. but, but not the size of the of the tile. No, uh, and it just seems so. And not all of them. Like it didn't. You didn't have to solve all of them for a new sphere to be there. It was like this happened, and then all of a sudden, you know, had a new sphere. Sometimes, but not other times. It was very confusing. Yeah. Uh, so on Steam, this is listed for nine ninety nine. Okay. So a ten dollar puzzle game mm -hmm. with a description of this. You ready for this? Yeah. Radiant VR is a new vision for an old school arcade style puzzle game. Unlike conventional color matching puzzle games, in Ra in Radiant VR you manipulate rings of blocks made of realistic materials such as metals, fabrics, and tiles, and a puzzle that floats in front of you. Mm -hmm. The end result, especially when you're playing with dual inputs such as Oculus Touch or two move controllers, okay. uh, is yeah. one is one of feeling immersed in a real world while playing with physical with a physical puzzle. With a wide range of special effects such as locking, rainbow blocks, and automatic flipping, the depth and difficulty increases as you play. Well, it's a puzzle game. You think it should. Yeah. It includes an arcade mode, a more relaxing infinite mode, and a puzzle mode with 100 handcrafted boards to solve in as few moves as possible. Hmm. I don't want to play this game. No. It seems like they took whatever they could think of and make it sound like... There's a wide range of special effects such as locking. Yeah. What, is it, what does that mean? I don't know. Rainbow blocks? Uh, that's an effect? Features. These are, these yeah, are, these are more features. These are features. Automatic flipping? Yep. I know you saw... So that flip is a feature? I guess. Yeah. Do yeah. we want to see what Michelle said? I wonder I, if it's the I, same thing. God, I want to see what Michelle says, because maybe... Radian VR, 741 views, 6 likes, 0 comments. That, wait, that was in her that's, description? Yeah. <laughs> she, she focuses on interesting things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Old school puzzle game with a twist. Colors and materials. Matching is based on rotation. Difficulty increases as you play. Michelle Varicchioni. This is a pass for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I have zero interest. You yeah. know, if somebody put this game in front of me and a matchbox car missing two wheels, <laughs> I would play with the matchbox car. That's an interesting scale to work with, uh, and I would also choose said matchbox car. Yeah, I don't yeah. even care what one. And, and no, no offense to developers, this just is not yeah. our, our style of game. Uh, cre putting things like metals and fabrics and all that stuff, it really did feel like to me. I was like, I was like, okay, here we are in Home Depot, and we're choosing like our wallpaper, we're choosing right. our tiles, we're choosing our countertops, right. and I was like, oh, but it's a puzzle game. It's yeah. like. It just doesn't work for me. And those backgrounds, I really feel like, are just 360 images. Right. They're just like it's going to cheapen the feel of the game. Is there sauna music in the background? It seems like a very like a spa type of a mm, yeah. mm, you know like that spa music. Oh oh yeah, yeah. rainbow forest. We should probably light some of these candles around here. Yeah yeah no no thank you. <laughs> no. Uh, we're very seldom this negative about a game, but this one I, I think we have to pass on. Yeah yeah, uh, it's ten bucks. I, I would I would try it for. Three ninety nine. I would not. Man, oh man, I, I feel like I, I'm like trying not to be so negative. I'm getting more negative by the second. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, next trailer. Uh, by the way, uh, I feel like I feel like we forget to actually say something important that we talk over the trailers. We kind of forget to introduce. Oh yeah, the don't show. listen to us. We don't yeah. know what we're talking about with this game. This Obviously. isn't a, a show to get information about. Yeah. Don't be upset we're with us. We're gonna mystery science here three thousand the crap out of these things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely, if you want some real information, go elsewhere. Yeah. All right. Watch this, but then, you know, get the information on these from somewhere else. Absolutely. Uh, next up, we've got a trailer for a game called Nothing, apostrophe, but net. Pew. On your mark, get set, go. go. Almost like a Hot Wheels symbol. Look at that. A little bit like a Hot Wheels symbol. Right. Okay, so let's it's see. We've got a basketball gym. court. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a gym. Yeah, like, like a high school gym, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's nets. Yeah, nothing we're, but net. So we're literally just throwing basketballs? There's a menu over there. I wonder what the menu said. Um, if we're spinning that on our fingers. I wonder if you can do that with the controls and then... Pew, I'm hoping so. Throw it. it. Seems difficult. Like, what exactly is the problem here? Throw I the ball. Know. Whoa. What did we just throw? A megaphone. Oh. So you can throw shit. Well, I, I love picking up and throwing stuff in VR. It's like my favorite part right. of VR. There needs to be Gatorade in there to splash everywhere. Definitely. Isn't that kind of a thing? Now, is this multiplayer? Is that why we've got a... We just saw some other dude. Like, yeah, I like there's like another area right there. It seems like it. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, What whoa, the whoa. fuck? Angry ref. Angry ref. Yep. Uh-oh. Are they guns? Can you shoot the balls? <laughs> Can you shoot the balls? Can you shoot the ref? Yeah. Is this American Dream basketball? Oh, God. 
Basketball Diaries. That was a good movie. That That's one of Leonardo movie. DiCaprio's very unrecognized, fantastic roles. Yeah, I, I feel like his career could have started and ended there, and I would have been happy. <laughs> you didn't like him as Arnie? Uh, Gilbert Grape was good. A great movie. Yeah. Uh, Gilbert Grape, uh, what else? What was the uh, what was the one he played Arthur Rambo? Who the fuck is Arthur Rambo? He's like a poet. Okay, forget. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like suddenly we're, the only thing we care about is Leonardo DiCaprio's Leo. th- filmography. Right? Yeah. So um, yeah, it looks like you got a score for spinning that ball. Yeah. I don't know what that score does, but it seems like a lot of ball spinning and throwing things. Why is this trailer so long? Like, really, did they need to make it so long? I don't know. What did we, you could change the color. What are the ball? Change the colors. The colors. Yep. Change the color. A bigger ball. Yeah, it looks like a big ball. It's like some different styles of balls. I'm just throwing them around. Different I mean. teams. Is that with the custom court logo? That's what's going on down. It's like. Okay, but what about the game? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the game, Brian. You Cut. constantly have the settings menu open. It seems like it's always open. Yeah, it's somewhere down there. Oh, oh. physics. Smashing stuff. I like what smashing does that stuff. Do? And is this like he can float around? That's like a free roam, like he can levitate? And that was it. Another strange trailer, Brian. Really strange trailer. Yeah. But uh, let's. let's I, I, I've got nothing to say about this because it was so confusing. Nothing but say. Uh, nothing to say about nothing but net. Nothing to say. Uh, Ten dollars on Steam. Okay. Uh, nothing but net brings you a realistic and fun basketball sports simulation to your VR play space. Whoa! What language do you think this was in originally? <laughs> yeah, really. Play play different variations of basketball on a life size gymnasium, challenging your friends up into up to six different online game modes, including speedball, team speedball, horse, knockout, rapid fire, and free throw, or practice solo in one of six game modes. Is speedball and team speedball kind of rapid fire and free throw ish? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It it's it. There's no there's no basketball game here. This is just like this is just basketball mini games, right? Yeah. Where you get to stand in one place and beat each other at horse. It's like when your gym teacher said, "Today you just free run. We're gonna put the balls out there. You do what you want." Yeah, That's pretty much. Seems like what it's like. Yeah. Uh, what what did Michelle have to say about this one? Michelle said. Nothing but net. Oh, we didn't see how many. She on this one, she did not let us know how many people viewed it. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it's uh, online VP to four players. VP. Looks like four players to four players. <laughs> that's how close she wrote. Yeah, something online multiplayer, customized gym and avatar. Figure that one out. Play horse with AI. Why don't you like using your microphone? Voice support. <laughs> Voice support. There we go. <laughs> ASMR. Teleport automatically. Major focus for feedback. Steam. She's got it priced higher than you do. Yeah, it's ten bucks. I checked right before the show. Yeah, she's got fourteen. She's putting her, a tax on it. It's uh, she her information is from like four days ago. Okay, so maybe it dropped in price in the last four days. True. Yeah. Uh, nothing but not. Does, I mean, I can't. <laughs> I just can't imagine. Like we have rec room. We have sports bar. We have things that encompass. Like many sports, yeah, right. That you can get together with a, with friends and play a bunch of games. Yeah, and this one's like, hey, for ten bucks, which is ten dollars more expensive than Rec Room. Yeah, like you can play one sport with your friends. And it's like, well, <laughs> are you not like examining the VR landscape right now yeah. before you make your game? Uh, like, I don't, I, I, I just don't know who this appeals to. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I got you know three balls in. How many did you get? Right, you know, and it's never fair. Somebody's gonna bitch and be like, well, the tracking was off. That don't you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I yeah. think how much can you buy an actual basketball for? It might be more fun to buy an actual one and go outside. Well, that's the problem. Is like you know, like we were talking about, we were talking about with ping pong last week. Mm-hmm. Like I live in, I live in three hundred square feet. Yeah, right. There's no room for a ping pong table. No, you know, I could probably buy, you know, a setup pretty cheap. So inner city youth would love, inner city youth and inner city Brian. Yeah, would love nothing but net. Yeah, so who knows? It, there, there might be something here, but uh, but it didn't definitely didn't grab us. No. Um, I'm not a basketball fan anyway. Yeah. I don't like watching basketball. I don't Me like either. playing basketball. Nope. Uh, so this prob- we're probably not the right people yeah. to judge this at all. Yeah, it's, yeah, maybe if you should. like basketball and this appeals to you, comment below. Yeah, we want to know what know. you think about this because you probably, you probably like it more than us already. <laughs> all right, next up. Here we go. Next up is Torn. Torn. Now, we have definitely talked about Torn because Torn looks like a pretty decent game. Sweet. Uh, of course, it's Acting all up here. On your mark, get set, and go. 
alcohol, partial, partial nudity. nudity with the alcohol, so it's already going to be somewhat decent. I got to say, I did not anticipate this to have partial nudity. It's going to be that, like, angelistic type of nudity. You know how they do that, where it might be some divine creature that's not uh, wearing appropriate attire. See, look at that. You're it's probably like that. Yeah, this is this is such a beautiful looking game. It's incredible, yeah. Yeah, the fact the fact that this is going to be PlayStation VR, um, like I'm just I'm really curious to know like how detailed this is going to look inside the headset. And where's the alcohol reference? Where is the alcohol reference? Yeah, this is because it's very much like a uh, go inside and walk around mist in a sense if it was created somewhat nowadays. I mean, I know this. Oh yeah, I forgot about that object. Like the gravity gun. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anytime there's a gravity gun in anything, I love it. Right. Um, even in Operation War Kid, there's a, there's a gravity gun, and I was like picking up tanks and throwing tanks at soldiers. I was like, this is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Is this the same exact trailer we watched? It, it is, um, but I don't think we watched it on theater last time. I think we no. just watched it. Yeah. That's. I don't remember that. No, we, this is. Uh, this is different. I've been there. Have you? The Eiffel Tower. Oh, well, mm -hmm. The wireframe version looks almost as good. <laughs> yeah, it really does. You think this is gonna be too puzzly? Uh, I mean, y you think it's like you're like, oh, here's a room, and good luck progressing until you beat the puzzle, right? Yeah, it might be. That looked like the statue in Interview with a Vampire when Louis finally was a vampire, and the statue opens his uh, her eyes and looked at him. Do you know I've never seen Interview with a Vampire? No. No. Tom, Tom Cruise? Thomas Cruise. Thomas Cruise. Yeah. And, uh, uh, the Reverend Thomas Cruise. Bradley Pitt. Oh, <laughs> oh Bradley. What are you yes. doing these days? Bradley. Yeah. And um, what's her face? You know, she was a kid then. Oh, how am I forgetting? She's uh, the one who did the fucking upside down kiss with Tobey Maguire. Oh, uh, yeah. What's her name? Uh, and she was in Virgin Suicides. Virgin Suicides, the funniest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, they all killed themselves. How many were there? Seven? Uh, I don't know, but the Virgin Suicides is... I kid you not. I remember watching the Virgin Suicides. Yep. I was drunk off my ass. Kristen. That's all I got. Give me another one. Yeah, they'll come to you. Yeah. Um, the Virgin Suicides, I was... I mean, fucking hammered. Yeah. Right? Watching this by myself, drunk off my ass. <laughs> laughing hysterically. Yeah. And it wasn't until days later where I was telling people how funny this movie was. Yeah. Right? Like, I was just watching it and it was like, and, uh, and somebody was like, and somebody was like, I saw that movie. It's not a comedy. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? It's a definitely like a dark comedy. Yeah. Like, because it's so over the top. It's like, yeah. how can you take it seriously? And mm -hmm. they're like, no, it's not a comedy. And I was like, but it's the funniest movie I've ever seen. Virgin Suicides. Yeah. I, I still rank it as the funniest movie I've ever fucking seen. I haven't seen it in years. I'd seen it twice. And I, Yeah. The boyfriends were all upset that the girls all killed themselves. But so dramatic. Like, it yeah. was so... I was like, everyone's reaction to everything was so over the top, and, and, and these girls were so depressed, but they had these great lives, and I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Is like, I was like, I, I was like, if it's not supposed to be funny, then it's not a good movie. <laughs> no. Um, comment below. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Uh, Torn. Yeah. All right, spring 2018 release. Okay, so anytime. Yeah, right around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully right around the close corner. Yeah. Uh, Torn is a dark science fiction mystery. Explore the abandoned mansion of Dr. Lawrence Talbot, an eccentric scientist missing for 64 years, used a gravity tool, which we Sweet. saw, to activate Talbot's machines, then transport to the strange dimension known as the parallel. Interesting. So do you think that wireframe Eiffel Tower is in the parallel? Yeah. This is like the upside down? Probably. Yeah. And maybe one puzzle influences the real world like if you go in the parallel it oh, could unlock puzzles for the real world and maybe. vice versa yeah i mean how could they not implement that this is this is a what you're talking about is similar to what what happens in abduction okay. um it's very mist like but yeah you go from you go from one uh, reality to the other and yeah you have to fix things in one to influence the other yeah um i i, I gotta say i hate that mechanic because <laughs> right? it's a lot of going back and forth being like oh, let me try it again let me yeah. try it again and like all right so that lifted up that door over there yeah yeah i'm gonna be here all day yeah <laughs> yeah uh, but this but i mean again the, the graphically alone like i feel like it's worth putting up with any mechanic yeah just to see great. the whole game yeah yeah um the thing I like about this is that they're comparing it to uh, like an episode of Black Mirror or Twilight Zone. And I, so, I mean, I love that influence. The fact that there's a lot of story going on here and yeah. not just puzzle solving. They're, they're giving you a reason to get through this. Yeah. Uh, it means, I mean, I'm totally down. I, I don't even, I can't think of anything uh, other than, 
I don't want to be stopped every three seconds and be like, you have to solve another puzzle. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm hoping that the mansion is fairly open from the get-go. Yep. And you walk around deciding what you want to work on first. Yeah. You know? Or like, you're this and here and doing this, and then this reminds you of a piece that you needed maybe over there. Yeah. And- you know, it's got to have a strong story because those puzzle games that are just solving puzzles. That's it, yeah. It's really tough to progress because it's like, I don't feel like doing another puzzle right now, you know, but when the story is behind it, mm-hmm. it's like, it just, you need a strong story with these games. That's why a lot of the old PC point and click type of adventure games, you know, we also then had the objects you would collect that would help yeah. you progress. I loved them because they were very story driven, you know, yeah. and because they let you explore so much. Yeah, and, and you know, you run into roadblocks here, 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 and here. Yeah, but then you find something at this roadblock that got you past this one over here. Yeah, so you felt like even though you weren't solving puzzles, you were constantly progressing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I only, I only can hope this does the same, and I wouldn't see uh, developers putting that much emphasis on graphics i mean the thing looks gorgeous and not really having substance behind it story-wise and this is the one game we don't have a price point for Mm -hmm. what are we thinking 29.99 you think so yeah if it looks that great and it's maybe like a you know seven or an eight hour game i could see it being 29.99 i'm thinking like 39.99 oh for real yeah i mean especially if it's seven or eight hours especially if it's you know beautiful it's like it sound the voice acting sounds incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm definitely saying if this isn't forty bucks, I'll be surprised. Let's see what Michelle says. Oh, hey Michelle, thanks Torn. for tuning. Thanks for joining. Yeah, us. dark sci-fi mystery this spring narrative game mm-hmm. takes place in a mansion of a physic physicist mm-hmm. who disappeared sixty four years ago. She got that Willy Wonka like machines okay. manipulate gravity. Did she add that, Willy Wonka? I think so. That might have been a Michelle Barracuda. <laughs> Explore your own pace and feel like you're creating the story yourself. Interesting. Thank you, Michelle. All right. And then finally, the last show we're going to watch today is called Super Kaiju. Super Kaiju. Good. I'm glad it's not Kaiju, that kid's show. I hated that kid. Yeah, that kid's a dick. Oh, right. such a pussy. On your mark, get set, and go. He was always bitching. Yeah, he's such a complainer. His grandma. They they were like kind of dirty hippies almost, it seemed. Like his parents a little bit. Yeah. I mean, they wore the dumpy, frumpy pants and sweaters and stuff. Was he the bald one? He was bald. He was like almost he like... cancer survivor? <laughs> he was like Charlie Brown, except I, I like Charlie Brown. I like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Fucking Caillou. Yeah. So this looks pretty... uh. Talos. Talos. It, it is a little funny that we're... That we're watching Super Kaiju after we introduced the show with uh, with Giant Monster Talk. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, it's Wave Shooter. Wave Shooter. Yep. Yep. It's like a bad word these days. Yep. Team based. Oh, I don't know. You saw two bars there. I wonder if, what's happening here. The... See it? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot more going on than just shooting. Totally. Although there's a lot of shooting. Wreak havoc with potent abilities. Mm-hmm. Missile cluster bomb. Okay. Nice repair drone. So is this kind of like a uh, wave shooter with uh, Borderlands type of uh, abilities you progress with? And they're calling game? it a sport. Really? Yeah. So I mean, you see the scoreboard up there, right? Yeah, but that's I mean, any of those arena type things, they always have a scoreboard. Yeah, that's true. Even uh, Super Kaiju. Well. Okay. Uh, so uh, twenty bucks on Steam. Okay. Uh, Super Kaiju, the greatest and most anticipated sports tournament on the planet, is here! Well, fight for fame and fortune as one of the elite mech monsters known as Kaiju in an exciting ba- battleground designed to test your skills and resolve. Fight in multiple environments, including harsh volcanoes spewing rivers of lava that bubble in fiery Spew. maelstrom across the arena to a frozen sea of icebergs. This is where two kaijus enter, one kaiju leaves. <laughs> Made exclusively to take full advantage nice. of virtual reality, Super Kaiju is a fast-paced, highly accessible arena shooter. In the best tradition of the arcade games of old, the core game mechanics are easy to grasp, yet difficult to master. Enjoy Super Kaiju and test your skills in single-player mode or test yourself against other players in exciting and competitive PvP trials for the title of Supreme Kaiju, period. Well, well at least it's more than just a wave shooter. Yeah, there's a little bit more going on there. It's like team versus team. Yeah. Or player versus player, at least. Mm -hmm. Uh, And it seems like each player controls a team. Is that what it looks like? It seems like it. Yeah. I like the the mechanics of, like, different, uh, different 
weapons and stuff not not different weapons but there was like that grenade what, what else was there there was the like the the health thing regenerated health yeah, there yeah. was a missile drone thing so you definitely seemed like you gained some neat like teammates if you will like ai teammates i don't know if you could launch them out there and they shot at different things for you or yeah i don't know or what it was yeah. um but are you a mech so you're a giant mech so that's just you though with the guns like you are the mech i think so all right it's not totally clear and it's probably each mech then has a random amount of different abilities you can obtain as well i'm hoping so i'm wondering if those are unlockables i'm wondering if like the you progress in a maybe a single player campaign you start unlocking those for your multiplayer challenges yeah or if it's uh or if as you progress through the multiplayer you know you perform different actions to to get those perks and i hope they're all different like i want one kajit or whatever the kaiju Kaiju. i want one of those not a kajit wrong game that's final fantasy um, or is that uh, EverQuest? Uh, I think it's Final Fantasy. You lost me like an hour yeah, ago. Whatever. But I hope that each one has their own set of different abilities and it's not a blanketed, like, all right, you all gain these abilities, you know. So I guess we'll find out, Brian. I guess we will find out. Does Michelle have anything to say about this one? Uh, she does. I'm so glad Michelle's here. Fast-paced, highly accessible arena shooter. Single player or PvP. Core mechanics are easy to grasp, difficult to master. She's plagiarizing. Fight for fame and fortune. Multiple environments, harsh volcanoes to frozen sea of icebergs. Uh, it's nineteen dollars and ninety-eight cents on the Vive. Leaderboard, off-map support. Kill flying monsters to gain stars that you can use to activate epic missile strikes and shields. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that is Super Kaiju. 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 Stop it. Caillou, is it? No, I forget the name. All right. All right. Well, that's uh, that's about that. Um, what's our what's our pick of the week? Oh shit! I, I mean, this, uh, oh yeah, easily torn. It's, it's obviously without a doubt. Torn, not even competition. I, I, we were we were probably less interested in the first two trailers, mm-hmm. uh, Radiant VR and Nothing But Net, than yeah. any than any episode of PSVR theater that we've ever had. Yeah. Like I'm just like 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 I don't even care about these games whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and that's probably a personal preference, but it very well could be the general consensus as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Torn is looks incredible. It looks great, and Super Kaiju looks fun. It looks better than the other two. <laughs> I, I don't know yet. It's yeah. that arena sport thing that they keep, like the bow to blood, bow to blood. You know, and yeah. what was that other launch title? Uh, Rigs. Rigs. Yeah. You know those. Uh, yeah, I know there's a ton of love for Rigs out there, but it just for me, it, it never grabbed me. I've never. tried playing it 20 times, and I never, maybe never got the hang of it, uh, but I've spent hours with that game, and it just never clicked for me. Yeah. People say it's one of the best games, and I'm like, I'm, I'll am i work on it eventually. Yeah. It took me like a year to get into Battlezone, so I mean, it's totally possible. Well, you're, more, you're definitely a story-driven person, and it just doesn't seem, there's no reason for me to play that game. Yeah, but but there's tons of non-story driven games like Starboard Arena, Smashbox Arena that I fell in love with. Well, yeah, you can jump in and enjoy them yeah. quickly. But I mean, maybe Riggs isn't your cup of tea because I liked Spark. I thought that was great. Spark was fantastic. You know, but Riggs, I played it twice, yeah. and I, I just will never play it again. Spark is something I definitely would go back and play. You know. Right on. All right. Uh, as always, we're always running out of time here, so we got to move right along. Yep. Uh, and, uh, and and get ready for viewer takeover. So make sure you come back tomorrow for the other best twenty seventeen minutes of your week. <laughs> uh, viewer takeover. As always, I'm Brian. That's Jeremy. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, and then final question. Yeah. The probability that Rampage is going to be a good movie. Oh, zero. Zero percent. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I even Who is even that? The, is it. that The Rock? It's Dwayne Johnson, yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't mind him. Like, in movies, he's, I mean, he's all right. You know, I never was a wrestling fan at the time he was a wrestler. Uh-huh. I liked wrestling, you know, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Sure. Those days, in the 80s, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. The so, heyday of professional wrestling. Yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, Mean Gene Okala, you know, Oakland, whatever his fucking name is. I don't even know who that is. Like, I, I never get into it, but that's not the point. But Ram- yeah. Rampage, no, I won't see it. No. No. Oh, I, I think it's going to be horrible. But I mean, actually, I'm surprised because that seems like a U-Bull movie. Like, when he did all that shit, like, years ago, like, yeah. House of the Dead and all, like, the video game movies that were just garbage. Yeah. And I, I thought he was making a Rampage movie. Uh, I, mean, I 
maybe maybe it came out i don't even know but to, to see this to be like oh wow like you're making a movie based on a license that like literally has zero story yeah really just monsters punching things in each other right is it going to be good enough for it to, to even put out and I, so when i saw the rock was in it, i was like he usually chooses his roles a little more carefully yeah curious to see how this thing turns out hey they they sold them pretty well then or they paid him enough yeah you know <laughs> one or the other yeah yeah